Hey, freaks and friends, this is James from Metallica here in Detroit on 101 The Riff. I'm Steve Black, 101 WRIF with James. How are you, brother? I'm doing great, thanks. Let me see. Fast cars, loud music. Are you sure you're not from Detroit? <laughs> I am now. <laughs> I think I'm in the right area. No doubt about that. I think, well, there's a number of reasons that Detroit has embraced Metallica, but I think we've always thought of you as one of us, you know? I love that. Well, you know, I've been, search I've been searching uh, for family for my whole life. <laughs> it's one of those things that'll probably never end, but, you know, to fit in and to be one of the, one of the, one of the family is, is always a good feeling. So I appreciate that. Obviously, the Orion names comes from Metallica. Metallica is the headliner. You guys put this thing together. But there is a lot of bands. And some bands, yes. not a lot of people even know that much about. I right. understand you guys were very involved in selecting the bands you wanted to play at your event. Well, pretty involved. You know, as long uh, you know, last year and this year. You know, when, you, when, you, when you've been around 30 years like we have, thank God. And we're very blessed about that and yeah. grateful for that. Uh, to still be uh, uh, alive and kicking, and have the f have the networking, having the funds to put on your own festival, why would you not? And it's just another adventure for us to bring people closer to music. And um, we don't want to focus on one type of music. We want to focus on good music, but focus on it being something at least edgy, something that moves people in a different way. So that's what we're trying to do here. And some of those bands are bands that maybe I'm not a big fan of, but I see something good in them. And I see that they are in need of getting in front of people. Right. Playing live for us has been the best drug on the planet, you know? Playing live is what it's all about. That's how we built our fan base. I know you can build fan bases different these days, yep. but nothing replicates playing live in front of people and being in an audience with like-minded folks watching a band and discovering a band live. Right. The first time a buddy of mine played a Metallica song for me, it was Trapped Under Ice, and I remember thinking to myself, I don't know, that's too heavy for me. I mean, that was my immediate reaction was, eh, I don't know. Then I saw you open for Ozzy, uh -huh. and it was instant. It was like, oh, I get it now. Awesome. You know, for whatever reason, my ears didn't get it that first time. But That's seeing okay. it live changed everything. See? You know? Exactly what we're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, there's plenty of music that I hear that's kind of, yeah, yeah, I, I need to see it live. Or, or some stuff that's completely transformed live, you know? There's certain bands that I like that, you know, on record, they're so-so, but you go see them live. And now I get it. So yeah, I'm talk glad. a little bit about the lifestyle part of the festival for you. Obviously, cars. Right, right. Uh, yeah, well, you know, obviously bringing a little touch of personalities in here and making it more than just uh, a bunch of bands. Uh, it, so obviously, cars for me. Uh, Robert and Kirk love uh, surfing, and you know, Rob's kind of taken over the skating, skating part. Um, and Lars in his movies and Kirk in his horror. So right. we kind of got it all. Um, so hopefully you find something interesting in one of those things as well as all the bands that are playing here. So, um, you know, a respect for the, the, the motor vehicle here in Detroit is pretty huge, I would say. You know, the need for speed, the love of muscle, the, uh, you know, the design of cars. Uh, you know, it's built this town, you know, and yeah. it's a huge yeah. part of American history, this town. And I'm very very grateful to be uh in this town uh and you know representing all kinds of cars here right and bikes so uh you know from muscle to customizing stuff to strip down hot rods it's all here what did you bring uh this time i brought uh two different uh cars that i last year brought something else so i'm trying to you know i've got a pretty good stable of cars at this point an obsession my wife says uh you know but if you're gonna invest your money in stuff invest it in stuff you love you know i got right. a great guitar collection and a car collection so this year i brought a 36 ford which is uh i think one of the most sought after customized style cars and then a very rare 53 buick skylark uh which we've customized which is 
I guess one of those things that um, if you're an elitist, you you really cringe at, you know, cutting up some piece of history like that. But we've made it better, I think, in my opinion. So two two pretty rare cars. Well, you're sitting in a very musical location. So mm -hmm. Iggy and the Stooges, Ted Nugent, Alice Cooper, or maybe unfair because you've covered them, Bob Seger. What's your what's your first pick? That's it's tough, but uh, you mean first pick to come up and jam or to oh, well, play here or to just I you just, know what I, I love just them all. You're throwing your iPod on. What's your what are you going to go to first? Oh, out of all that, I'd probably be Ted Nugent or Alice. Is kind of tough. I mean, I grew up on both both of those for yeah. sure. I mean, uh, there's so much so much great music that's come out of this place. You know, uh, obviously Motown and then all the way up through you know the. Uh, I believe MC5 was from here MC5, as well. MC5, you got um, it. And, uh, boy. And uh, Kid Rock, of course, used one right, of your songs. Right, um, uh Yeah, Alice Cooper grew up, you know, loving that stuff. Yeah. It was my high school music, that and Ted Nugent. Um, you know, pissing off the neighbors and parents <laughs> with it, you know. Uh, and no doubt that we've covered Turn the Page and would love to see Bob out here that would that would really kind of bring it full circle, you know, Yeah. <laughs> for us. And you did, uh, wasn't it Turn the Page that Kid Rock did at the 30th anniversary, Jim? Right, yep. Oh, so that was a quite an interesting combination. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you know, for us, that song says a lot. You know, we have, yeah. we've been road dogs for 30 years plus, and I know Bob has as well. And any band that really wants to establish themselves and get with the people and, and feel the, uh, the energy that we're, we've considered a drug for us right. for 30 years. You got to get out there. And that song, Turn the Page, says a lot for us. So many bands look up to you guys now. You're, you're, you're dads. You're rock and roll dads. People <laughs> grew up on you as opposed to you uh -huh. growing up on Coop. But you are doing something that you've never done before, going to China. Yeah. And I love John Stewart's comment about the, the air is very chewable in China. Right. <laughs> so it's got to be... I would assume, since you've done movies in the past and are working on one now, there's got to be some thought to filming some of the new adventures. Because I mean, what you know, who knows what you're going to find in China? Exactly. Uh, we've heard lots of stories <laughs> from yeah, you're getting uh, 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 pollution poisoning to little kids crapping in the streets. You know, we'll see what what it's really about. And it's cool to hear stories and what what to expect. Then you get there and you really see, you know, and hopefully at the end of the day. There are people that like music, and music has zero borders. Art and music uh, are never wrong, and they have no borders. So that's that's why we do this, and that's why we want to go to places like China. Uh, you know, political views aside, and 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 religious views aside, music at the end of the day is what we want to be connecting people with. Right. Those things, religion and politics, seem to fragment people, and and that's not what we're about right so seeing fans uh in a new country for the first time is always amazing you know we just we were just in uh in uh, uh dubai uh and seeing fans from iran seeing fans from syria seeing fans from lebanon that was probably the most eclectic right. gathering of fans uh yet and they were all together out there you know they had their own flags but they were in arms, uh, having a good time. Yeah, something people don't think about very often, but regardless of the language, all smiles are the same, and laughter sounds the same in every language. Very true. You know, and music relates to all languages. Yes. That's very cool. Yep. All right. Good to see you, brother. All right, thank you. Yeah, you got it.